couple of years down the road, you are hanging out. You wake up. Yeah. You know, you make yourself uh, some breakfast. You got okay. some. Uh, you're trying this new thing, uh, a pancake waffle combination. You what call it mean? up. Oh, so what, what it is is what elements of each. You take a a large pancake, and you take a large waffle. You put the waffle on top of the pancake, and then you kind of like go like that with it and turn it almost you 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 treat the pancake as if it's like a tortilla and the so waffle it's a, as if it's filling yeah it's like a taco except it's a pancake with waffle you call it a a, a wafco oh that sucks that <laughs> instead of a, instead of a taco cuz there's a waffle so um that sucks a wafco yeah, dude, but like you've told your friends about it and people are impressed. Like you like you told um you told Danny Goodwin about it. Uh and he was like, Cool, bro, that sounds pretty righteous, man. And then um he made it in his um in his apartment and uh like totally ate shit while making it and ended up uh, burning his apartment down. But everybody oh, no. else Everybody else who ate it said, said it was really good. So you've got a Wafco in hand, you know, you're kind of uh, sitting there, you're looking at it and you're thinking, how can I spice this up a little bit? So you um, crack an egg, you know, you make yourself uh how do you normally make your eggs? It depends, depends on the application. Gun to your head. How do you make? Well, like for what? I mean, what am I eating it with? You're yeah, gonna put like it in inside the Wafco, and so you're gonna. Oh, um, if it's going inside of it, if, if it's if inside of like a taco situation, then I'm gonna go scrambled. Okay, so you crack some eggs into the, uh, you know, the frying pan or whatever, and as you scramble them up, like it's weird because um, on the last egg that you cracked, right as you're about to crack it, you could swear you heard someone go. Oh no! And then, like, you cracked it open, and they went ah! as like you poured it into the. That's alarming. Yeah, so you're a little weirded out by that, but you're but you're also like, I mean, that couldn't have been what I thought it was. So you know, you 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 scramble up some eggies, you know, you throw it in that Wafco, and you look at it. Wafco sucks yeah. so bad, and you just like admire it, you know. And um, you're like, I'm gonna get something to drink too, so. You walk to your kitchen and uh, you slip on a banana peel and your Wafco goes flying out of your hands and it lands in uh, the garbage. Great. So so you're like, and, so, and, you, and you say out loud, my breakfast. What's happening to me? What you Why am I being like this? <laughs> well, you're like upset. You know, you're really looking forward to that breakfast and you don't have any other food in the house. So you're you're feeling a little annoyed and it's like raining outside too. So you're like, oh, great. Just another, you know, doesn't help with, with the mood. And you're uh, you're on your uh, you realize that like at, at some point you just like shifted around and now you're just like on your knees. You know what I mean? What? Palms up and you're just like looking down at your hands. And then suddenly the like happening. You're just, you're not having a good morning. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've only been, been awake. You've been awake for less than an hour and you're already like, uh, you know, can I just go back to bed now? When suddenly like you hear something outside of your, uh, of your house, it's like kind of muffled. It's like, <laughs> and you're like, what the hell? So you're one, you're like, what the hell is that sound? And so um, you walk over to your window and your window is like, you got so, um, you got so like bummed out about your breakfast fucking up that like it, your, your, your mood actually fogged up the window. 
so you can't what? like see what's what? up, what's outside. Yeah, that's how bummed out you got. I fogged up the windows inside my house. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Pat. So you kind of make a mental note to yourself to be like, maybe, you know, look into that. So you open up the window and it's a, it's, it's a little unexpected. There's like this large group of like, what can only be described as like, uh, like British, like soccer hooligans, you know? Yeah. They're all wearing like, you know, like muted trench coats and shit like that. A lot of them have like shaved head, you know, just pasty in the morning rain. One of them looks up and sees you and makes eye contact with you. Yeah. From my apartment window. Yeah. That I can't see. Out your, of it's, it's your house. Like, oh, up. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. My house. Yeah. It's a house. And so he looks up at you, makes eye contact with you, and he goes, I'll be a dream, I'll be a wish, I'll be a fantasy. And you're like, what? And then like a few other of the soccer hooligans look up, they start singing along. I'll be a hope, I'll be a love, be everything that you need. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? And then like the rest of them look up and they're like, they're all singing at you, but they're like shouting. You know what I mean? So they're like, they're being very loud. I can't believe you're doing this. I love you more with every breath, truly, madly, deeply, do. They have really strong accents. I will be strong. I will be faithful because <laughs> I'm counting on. And at this point, you just start singing along. You can't even help it. Yeah. A new beginning. And they are <laughs> locked in on you. A deeper meaning. Yeah. I want to stand with you on a mountain, you know, and you're just like tearing yeah. up and like some of the, some of them are too. And they, they sing all of truly madly deeply by Savage Garden. And you're what like a classic. Yeah. And you're like, uh, it's this, like, you know, you know how there's like singing, like there's like, you know, barbershop quartets who like deliver messages and stuff like that. It's kind of like that. And so um, you just like look down and you're like, who would care about me enough to like send me this? What a, like a crazy thing. You're having such a terrible morning. And then one of the guys is like, he looks up and he goes, Oi, bruvs, wrong house. They turn around. They were supposed to go to the other house. Like, so you, you live on a, right. uh, you live on a uh, six, Great. six, six, um, Satan Street. S A T A N. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's yeah. yeah. Uh. Like uh. You know, House B, and they're supposed to go to House A. So they they're like so one of them they go like, sorry, never mind. Like turn around. They do the whole thing all over again. When they turn and sing to the other house, like everyone sticks their heads out the window, and like everyone starts like just sobbing watching this whole thing happen again. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're like, you're like, well, that's fucking lame. Yeah. Well, it all makes sense now. Yeah. And you're kind of like thinking to yourself, man, this is the last thing that I need, you know? Yeah. Especially with, uh, you know, kind of like where you're at in life and stuff. Like you, you kind of, you feel like you, you kind of needed that? that. What do you mean by where you're at in life, Pat? So, um, you have, uh, moved to, uh, a town called Blorp. No, come on. Blorp is uh, a town that was designed for people whose lives have fallen apart. And so, um, there's like the the center of the town that has all the you know the stuff that you that that you need you know commerce and shit, um, but all all the homes are all like they're arranged in a perfect circle around like you know the downtown area, and all all the homes are on like the the very edge of town. So Lord, you're like, yeah. So you're like, oh, adventure. Man. Yeah, there's a there are. 
so many like coin star machines in blorp <laughs> yeah yeah so many there's no like there's no like grocery store there's just a um there's a couple of different like you know convenience stores you can go to you know like a bodega kind of a thing yeah Oof. there's um there's a place called uh Benny's uh, Bodega. Benny's Bodacious Bodega is what he calls it. There's that one. There's a RBM Food Mart Blorp. That's the one that you normally go to. So you're living in Blorp and things are. So why am I living in Blorp? Why is my life falling apart to the point that I have to move to a town? where people go when their lives fall apart. So this is a few years down the road, right? Yeah. So in those few years, you had a somewhat brief, but very high profile career as a competitive uh, laser tagger. Are you fucking kidding me? We're doing this. Yeah. So you um laser just... tag. Yeah. So um it's just a thing that like you you went to you hadn't played laser tag in like a really long time. And then a friend of yours um was having a uh like a birthday party and she was like, "Oh, Hey, let, let's let's have it at you know let's let's go laser tagging for my birthday. Uh, and so you're like, okay, I guess like you're like you 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 were kind of like not weirded out, but you were definitely like, are we really doing this? Like, all right, whatever. So you go there and something like almost like takes a hold of you. The moment that you step into uh this place it's uh it's called uh Dr. Electric's Laser Zone Dr. Electri Electric's Laser Zone yeah Dr. Electric uh was a uh just a general practitioner who won the lottery he quit his job and opened up a, the largest laser tag in uh in Los Angeles County. And you walk in and it's almost like so all the people that like are at this party, you you know pretty much all of them. Uh and even the ones that you don't know super well, like you in general get a very good feeling from them. You know, they seem like, you know, nice enough people. But when you put that like power pack on you know what I'm talking about? That's attached to the your laser gun, the one that you can like shoot. Yeah. When you put that on, is that the technical term for it? The power pack? I believe it's called a power pack, but I could be mm, wrong okay. about that. I'm just um, curious. Yeah. It it says uh Dr. Electric's power pack on like the chest part of it. Okay. And on the back it says, um, Dr. Rosenthal sucks. Wait, he's using these power packs to advertise a feud with another doctor? Yeah. But he's not even practicing anymore. What is there to argue about? Um, you, you never really get the full story. You just have a idea that something big went down between these two. You don't know what. No one will give you a straight answer. Man. But yeah. This sucks. So when you slip on the your Dr. Electric's power pack, you you feel something take a hold of you. You feel like transformed to the point where when um one of like your friend who invited you to the uh the laser tag uh birthday party, uh her name is Lois Kent. She's like she's like for Lois second. Kent? She, yeah, for a second she looks at you 
And it's almost like she can't look at you. She kind of goes like, oh, and like averts her eyes for like just a second. But then she's like, she like kind of like shakes her head and she's like, sorry, Aaron, that was, uh, huh, that was strange. And like for a moment, you think about like Christ resurrected 2000 years what? ago. And how like when he first came to, we came to his followers for the first time, they couldn't look directly at him. You know what I mean? They had just been, he had been like transformed. What the you kind of like think about that for just a second. And then um, you kind of like shake your head too to kind of, you know, get rid of that. You go in and it is like you're more than just like good at laser tag. You're a laser tag warrior. You end up getting first place so easy. You know, it's it's not even close. Your username is cool Aaron69. So after that day, you get really into laser tag. And you build up, you make a name for yourself on the laser tag, you know, the laser tag circuit of California, at least. Um, you haven't really traveled yet, but you're, you're looking forward to it. You, uh, you, you end up, um, you end up running with this, like, crew you know that's like team what do you mean i'm running with a crew well yeah like like you meet people while you're laser tagging and they they take it as seriously as you and they and they're like yeah like we're trying to be they're, they're all like semi-pro competitive laser tag players is there a pro laser tag well yeah i mean that's somebody who you know makes their living yeah purely based it, on that but th so these are people who you know they don't make their living doing it but you know and so you end up, uh, you end up hanging out with them and you guys, you know, decide to, you like, let's go for it. You know, let's start a competitive team and you do. And, um, the name, uh, the name of the team is the, the really bad boys, but really is like underlined and it's an italics dude. You and the really bad that boys. <laughs> you and the really bad boys. You guys end up like doing really well. People are like, there's times when you guys uh, walk in. It's you. Um, this guy that you guys call Lefty. Um, an old man with like, this guy has like shock white hair and you call him Whitey. Um, but he is like very agile. You wouldn't expect it looking at him. Like he's like an old man, you know, with that shock white head of hair. The first time that you saw his hair, um, like, like, like when he plays, he normally has like a baseball cap on or whatever. And so yeah. the first time that you actually saw his hair, he was like, Hey, you know, nice to meet you. The name's, the name's Lewis uh, Nads, but everybody just calls me Whitey on account of my white hair. And he pulls off like the hat, like the cap and staring at the. It's not even necessarily that it's like super white. There is an absence of of color. In this man's hair, it is that intense. And then there's a, a guy that you guys that like, just goes by the, nick, by the nickname Big Bones. He's like a really big like Bones. Yeah, he's a guy who he's not jacked. He's big. Yeah, yeah. He has a large you know frame. How, yeah, and you know how people go, "Oh no, like I'm not fat. I'm big boned." This guy literally is big boned. His bones are gigantic. And they call him Big Bone. Yeah, Big Bones. So. You and the uh, really bad boys, you guys uh, link up and you start wrecking shop. You guys get um, t uh, you get t-shirts made that say the really bad boys and you wear them like when you go laser tagging. You absolutely wear that shirt. And it's it's because it's in all honesty, it's actually like a like a like a really comfortable shirt. 
uh, but also like the intimidation factor is there, you know. We're gonna see this t-shirt and be intimidated to play us. Yeah, because you guys are like you guys aren't like it's not like you're beating people up necessarily. I I I don't mean it like that, but you like you guys on purpose try to intimidate people and like that's like part of your whole strategy is you go so it's me a mysterious person named lefty an old yeah. man and a and a person with an abnormally large frame but yeah lefty so is a lot like, yeah sounds like he would be hit very easily yeah but you guys like you guys are just in sync you don't even have to like um talk you do a thing where like you'll you'll look at one of them and just like nod at him like you'll look at lefty and nod and he nods back and he knows that you're telling him that like you know there's three people on the red team one level below if we get up high we can take him out and you guys just start walking high to like the high ground rather so this is like a multi-level multi-tiered laser tag arena yeah, yeah, it's the biggest. Excuse me, it's the biggest one in Los Angeles County. He won a like he won a very big lottery, Doctor Electric. This sucks. And um, laser tag. Yeah. So um, you guys were getting up to the uh like the regional championship. Um, you, you're playing against, um, a team of dudes. Uh, <laughs> they're all from Delaware. And so, um, you're playing against them and like, you're like suiting up and like one of them comes over to you. They all come over to you to like, be like, Hey, uh, let's just have a, let's have fun guys. And let's just, you know, make sure that nobody gets hurt out there. And you look him right in the eye and you go, go pay some sales tax, you Delaweenie. Jesus Christ. And he is like, like the colors drain from his face. He is like, holy shit. Why would I do that? Because they don't pay sales tax in Delaware. Yeah, well, you know, they don't need They don't do it in Texas either. You're That's trying to get so. in his head. So. So you're playing against uh, these these guys. Um, they don't have a name, you know. They're just like friends who like to hang out. Whereas you guys just take it so seriously. Yeah, and so, like um, you were doing this um, this thing where you guys were like they they show you the score, okay? And you guys were excuse me. There's only about like a minute left, and you guys are down by like 300 points it means nothing to me i don't know what that means <laughs> is that a lot it means is that, a that well it's it's enough to win but it's also it's with, with with six with about 60 seconds left if you go down there and like shoot all of them you know um yeah you will be able to like that'll be worth like 500 points so oh, okay the really bad boys all look at you and they're like, all right, here's our plan. We're all going to run down there, but I'm pretty sure they might have like a, a sniper over in that tower there. They're like, Aaron, this place has fucking towers in it. Several for like eight and man laser tag games. What the fuck? Hey, so, Dr. Electric. So they're like, Aaron, Look, you're the best shot out of any of us, all right? You stay here and get our backs. And you're like, what? No, I can't leave you guys. And then they're like, no, Aaron, like, you know, this is what we're going to do. We've we've made our choice. And you're like, and you look at them and you're like, whatever happens, guys, I just want you to know. They might call us bad boys, but to me. You're the greatest men I've ever known. Jesus Christ. And you guys all like put your like foreheads together, you know? What? <laughs> and then like they take off without a word. And you've got your you're looking out for the sniper, 
and you realize like when you look down you're like oh no like or like well, not oh no but you're like holy shit like sniper is in the tower he's actually like closing in on him and so you like shout down to the guys you go guys turn around and you shout it really really loudly so loudly in fact that there were like a uh, there was like a like a really loose brick wall that was made and it's not my fault it, what's about to happen no, is not my fucking fault and so it like causes the uh the wall to fall over and it crushes like both sides you're the only one who's like left alive that's not my fault no it's not but people are i'm not gonna say that they're like mad at you but they're definitely like whenever you like hang out or like come around people are like oh that's the you know that's the guy who killed all those people i didn't kill anybody i didn't kill anybody i'm not responsible for a fucking but you know how rumors spread? I mean, like, you know, the people who are in the know are, are well aware that like, oh, this was like clearly a badly made laser tag arena or something. Yeah. But, you know, it's like the way that these rumors work is that like someone hears something and they tell someone who mishears it and they tell someone who mishears it. So like, so mo there, most people are like, yeah, that's not Aaron's fault. Like that was clearly, you know, the fault of the Let's Dr. not forget Electric. that I just lost three of the quote best men i've ever known to this accident yeah but there is a i'm not going to say a sizable amount of people who think that you murdered these guys but they're loud like you like you got off twitter because of it like you like you would tweet like 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 well like one morning you just were in a silly mood and you and you meant to tweet i farted but you accidentally fucked up and tweeted i fat red instead and then, like, the first person to reply was, like, just says, like, you killed all those people, Aaron. Oh, Jesus Christ. So you're like, fuck this. Like, I'm not going to. So you, you got off yeah. Twitter because of it. So you kind of go through. You you clearly haven't worked through all your issues because of this. You know what I mean? Or due to this, you know? Um, yeah. So you kind of just, like, spend most of your time, you know, hanging around Blorp. Um you get you get a a job in like the city center uh or the town center whatever you want to call it um you work at a uh bowling alley great so you what i've always wanted so you're at work one day um it was it was a, it was league night so it was a it was a pretty you know, you had a, a a lot of uh people come in. Also, what Pretty sucks about league, league night? Yeah, about league night is that you also it's it's you know, it's it's a lot of work because of you know the amount of people coming for league night, but there's also people who don't know that it's league night. And so they come they show up wanting to play and you're like, Oh sorry, but it's you know it's LN night. tonight. Yeah. And so L N yeah, like so you go, you go, you go. It's LN dudes, and like you'll point up, and like above you is like a um, like a a banner that says like, "Welcome leaguers." And so, um, you know, you do have to deal with some angry people sometimes, but you're in there, and it's uh close to closing. By this point, you know, pretty much everyone's left. There's still a few uh, you know, lifers there, throwing a throwing a ball or two, you know? Yeah. When in walks someone that you did not think you were going to see that day. It's, um, it's big bones as widow. Yeah. She comes up to you and she's like, Aaron, look, I just want you to know that I've forgiven you for, for what happened. I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. I screamed in the middle of a fucking competition, <laughs> a laser tag competition. You know, like, how do you know that yeah. nobody touched the wall? She's like, you know, um, so I've, I've, I've forgiven you. Um, but 
you know, you, you do have to, I'm wondering if you can help me with something. So what does she mean? Her, I mean, Big so Bones the, was like a close friend of mine. Yeah. I probably. Have I met this woman before? Uh, yeah. You met her at the funeral where she was not That's happy I to met see her. You. Yeah. Right. Like she's like screaming at you. She's like, did you even know his real name? And you're like, Ooh, and you go, uh, check please. I'm not going to say check please at a fucking funeral, Pat. You got, you said it to like yourself. You didn't say it out loud. Oh, okay. But you mouth the word. So I'm not going to mouth check <laughs> please to a widow. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so she goes on to tell you that like, at the, the school that she works at is um, like a woefully under um, underfunded school. And there is a ragtag group of kids who are really interested in laser tag. And basically they're asking you to whip them into shape for the big game. Laser Absolutely tag. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, are you kidding me? The last time I stepped into a laser tag arena, three of my best friends died. And this not, is how you I'm can make laser up for tagging that. Anymore. And, uh, dude, this is, this would be so traumatic. Yeah. She goes, no, I'm not playing laser tag anymore. I'm out of the game. She goes, look, I Aaron. killed, I killed three people. Remember? Well, you also killed everybody on the other team too. You killed Sorry, seven yeah. people. Um, so you, um, she's like, look, Aaron, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this because again, I have forgiven you for, for what you did, but I didn't, the other, not... the other widows no, haven't. And they said the I only do, way I didn't do anything wrong. I lost my best friends due to a poorly constructed brick wall that should be rated to hold up against a screen. Okay. Yeah, this but it was a fault. it was a scream that shook the walls, dude. You screamed very loudly. So she's like, you know, the other widows, um, you know, they said that they'd forgive you if you would help with this. No, because they all they all work work at the same school that no. has a uh, laser tag. Absolutely not. You wouldn't no. do it. I'm not playing laser tag ever again. I'm not playing laser tag ever again. Yeah. So you, uh, what would you tell her? I'd say, no, I'm not playing laser tag ever again. Yeah. The last time I played laser tag, something happened and I was blamed for the death of seven people and it wasn't my fault. I'm not playing laser tag ever again. Seven people. They're pinning on yeah. me, your husband included. So she's like, she kind of like nods and she goes, he like, was one of my best friends. He's like, yeah. And as, and I like, she turns away to like leave and she, she looks over her shoulder and she goes, and he was my husband. Yeah. He walks out. Yeah. You, um, you go to bed that night and. You kind of have this like strange sort of like dream. It's a kind of dream that you don't realize is a dream, you know, until you wake up. Yeah. I guess that's most dreams. But in the dream, um, you are uh, like sitting at your house. You walk over to your closet and you open it and inside is your power pack that you used with the, uh, the really bad boys. And in the dream, like you look at it and it says to you, you can make it right, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Absolutely not. 
Your I dream is not going to convince me, nor will it take away all of the pain of being ridiculed for the last <laughs> however long for killing seven people. So uh, you, in the dream, you blink and then there's like, you're like waist deep in blood. Great. You wake up and you're like, that was fucking, fucking sucks. weird. Yeah. I'm waist deep in blood. In the dream, you know, not, not in real life, obviously. That'd be weird. So you um you wake up at, out of your dream and you see look down and there's a there's a text. Um you you have her name and the phone saved as a <laughs> Big Bones Old Lady. And it says, Aaron, have you changed your mind? Had any interesting dreams? D R E E with my dreams. E A M S. No. And now at this point, I'm just not going to answer. Yeah. I already gave her my answer. I'm just not, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to respond. Because now they're fucking with me. They're fucking with me. So, um, you just don't even respond, you know, and yeah. you just kind of go about your life. Um, you read in the paper that, uh, the high school that all the widows worked at, um, Chevy chase high school, uh, they, uh, the laser tag team, uh, ends up, you know, getting bounced out of the tournament pretty, you know, pretty quickly. And um, the taxpayers are pretty pissed off and they're like, why are we even, why, why is our tax money paying for laser tag? So yeah. they announced that they're going to get rid of the program uh, starting next year, you know, the next school year. That sucks. Yeah. And so um, you see that in the news and you're like, like reading the newspaper and you're like, oh man, you close the newspaper and standing in front of you are, uh, the widows. Uh, there's like seven widows standing in front of you and, um, they all, what the fuck, what the fuck, Pat? <laughs> and they're all carrying baseball bats and what the just, fuck? And they just start going to town on Jesus you. They start, Christ. they start with your knees and then they move down to your shins and uh, your toes oh and stuff. And then God. they just fucking beat you to death. And... God, that's so and they, and they scream, fucking... our husbands are dead the whole time. God damn. Our children's fathers are dead. Fuck this. That sucks. I didn't do anything. I didn't build that wall. Um. Dr. Electric uh, ends up uh, making a sizable donation to uh, the Chevy Chase uh, High School's uh, laser tag program. And uh, he ends up endowing it, endowing it with enough money uh, that uh, it's going to run for the next uh, 35 years. They give him uh, the key to the city. He's the and they call Great. him the hero of the year. Great. Eventually, uh, he becomes so popular that he becomes elected uh, president of the United States, and uh, the American Jesus Empire Christ. like falls underneath his uh, <laughs> underneath his watch. God damn, Doctor Electric, <laughs> yeah. President Doctor Electric, yeah, President Doctor Electric. He ruined this country. Fuck this! I'm glad I'm dead. <laughs> 